Hi, I'm here at the Nicholas House in Atlanta. I think it's Midtown Atlanta. Are we in Midtown? Um, close. Sure. Close. Yeah, yeah, close. And this East is Atlanta. Avion. Hi. And Avion, tell me more about who you are, what you do. I'm Avion Watson, and I'm the That's executive director of the Michigan we Community some Foundation help in there. here in Atlanta, oh, well, Georgia. Yeah, we feed weekly the homeless. We test for HIV and AIDS, rapid results testing. We have a Vision Top Seeds program. We have a GED education Wow, a lot, a lot. And you've got dinner in your hand. And as I walked in, on a Bible study. <laughs> uh, so as we were walking in, bringing the gingerbread houses, um, I saw dinner walking out. You guys had brought dinner, and that was the tail end of it. Yeah. And tell me your name. Shar Watts. Shar. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And, you're, and I'm, I'm Terrell Walker. And you've just start. You've just joined this church, and that's how you got involved. Well, actually, it's not a church. It's a foundation. The but foundation. I've been, I've been a member for some time, um, for for many years. Great. Okay. And so we all I'm go sorry. to the same church too. <laughs> and so this is just part of what you do every other night. You bring. We do it every Tuesday, but we switch the shelters. Like um, one Tuesday we're in the streets. Like we're literally in the streets of Atlanta, and then the other Tuesday we come here and feed the families. Yeah. So we feed. We fed since January about 5,000 people already since wow. January. Wow, just your one foundation. Just our one foundation yeah. and on a shoestring, literally shoestring budget. budget. So. Yeah, and it just comes from the family. It comes that from are the church, the church, the church. Yeah. yeah. What, has this, what does this mean to you? Oh, I love it. I enjoy it. Every yeah. day I have to be here every Tuesday. Yeah. I have to be. And um, had you had any experience with homeless families prior to no, doing not this at all. work? Yeah. Not at all. And what did you discover when you started working with them? Just love, joy, Oops. peace, yeah. happiness. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's found everywhere. Oh, Tom, do you mind? What's your <laughs> no, it's just a passion of my heart. I've, 11 years ago when I came to Atlanta, it was pretty much um, the same situation for me where I was homeless. So luckily I've gotten with a foundation that caters to the homeless. You were and homeless when you came Yeah, to 11 years ago I was in the same exact situation. So this is my way of giving back to the community. And luckily with Avion and the foundation, <laughs> you, I, you know, I just pick up the phone and I call her and I say, hey, what do you need? And she's like, just come help us feed, help Tell us feed. Tell me why you were homeless. I, I, I relocated. Her. It was domestic violence, and I relocated from um, Washington, D.C., and I came here and found the Vision Church of Atlanta, found the Vision Community Foundation, and it's just been awesome. So you decided to leave the situation where Absolutely. you Absolutely. Had lived. to leave, you know, and, and, and unfortunately, you know, I had to come quite a ways, but it, it's all happened and worked for the good. And again, you know, I'm here today. If it wasn't for my situation, I probably wouldn't be here today giving back. Yeah, that's an amazing story. Yes. How did you get, what was it that got you on your feet? How did you, A, decide to leave the domestic violence well, situation? Well, you know, after you, when your children witness certain things, you just, you know, you look at them and you do it for them. You do it for yourself first, you know, and then you do, you look at your children and you're like, I don't want them to come up that way. So you get out of the situation, yep. even if it's life or death, you have to take that chance. You had you to be to ready out. to leave everything behind. You have to behind. be ready to leave everything behind, and yep. that's what we literally I understand. did. And I'm just, again, I'm so grateful for the Vision Community Foundation because if it wasn't for the foundation, again, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for my personal situation 11 years ago, I wouldn't be here. So I'm just really, really grateful. It's powerful when you can find other people who are just on the other side of that. Yeah. And they just need a little bit of help. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. We're all here to bless one another. And, you know, you never know what your situation might be tomorrow. So it's yeah. always a good idea to give back. Definitely. And, again, like on a shoestring budget, I mean, we take donations, whatever we can do to give back to the community. So this is Avion again. And if anybody wants to, um, my troops. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for telling me your story. It's a hard story to talk about. Yeah, but you know it's victory. So it's it it's actually yeah. actually it's very strong, very very easy to talk about it now. Now, but yeah, it is. Yeah. But on the okay. Came well, through. Nice yes, you I came through. Thank, thank you. you. Don't forget thank the Vision you. Vision Community Foundation. We'll do. We'll do. Yeah, picture. Here we go. We're gonna see if we all get in the picture. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> it's great to meet you. Great oh, to great meet to meet you, you too. Yeah.